change is contagious. And that is indeed what Ed Snowden, Bradley Manning and Julian Assange have done. They have given us more courage. They have given us courage to stand up against the empire that is the vulturic United States of America and all of its allies, including Australia and the Western powers. And they have given us courage to stand up to this blood-soaked empire. Blood-soaked it is. And the Western media that supports every lie and obfuscation that the empire puts across. There are estimated two million Iraqis and Afghans killed in the last two decades. These people who have been killed, innocent civilians, because of the empire's greed and because of their focus on extracting oil and gas from this oil-rich region. Shame. And Ed Snowden and Julian Assange and Bradley Manning expose what the empire has done in this region and exposes the lies for what they are. The empire is not interested in democracy. If it was, it would get out of these countries because the people do not want them to be there. So thanks, we give tribute to these whistleblowers and we have gained courage. But also we must give tribute to Bolivia, to Ecuador, to Venezuela, to these revolutionary governments who are standing up alongside Ed Snowden, Julian Assange, WikiLeaks, to say we support these whistleblowers. And I had the fortune to visit Venezuela in 2005. I had the fortune to visit Bolivia in 2006. And I bring back stories of courageous governments who are standing up against the imperial giants as well. They're standing up against free trade agreements. The Australian government is attempting to sign one now, as we just heard a former speaker speak about. They're standing up against the World Bank and the IMF, and they are implementing a democracy of the like which we have not seen in Australia, and of the like which the United States citizens have not seen either. The real democracy. Venezuela has uh, offered Ed Snowden asylum to their credit. Nicaragua and the revolutionary government has offered Ed Snowden asylum to their credit. And Honduras, people might not know the story of Honduras, who also stood up with these revolutionary socialist governments and said enough is enough to these free trade agreements and joined with Venezuela and Bolivia in a trade and political bloc called ALBA. There was a military coup in Honduras in 2009 which was backed by US forces of which unseated a democratically elected left-leaning government and really this is what the US are saying to Ecuador and Bolivia and Venezuela. They say this is what will happen to you Look at what happened in Honduras, don't stick your neck out. But instead, the Venezuelan revolutionary government has said, no, we will support whistleblowers and truth tellers, and to their credit, they did so. Thank you, Venezuela. But I think the other lesson in this is that the Venezuelan leadership is something not just to applaud from afar, but something to emulate. They are empowering the poor. They are feeding the poor. They are taking the resources back from the private oligarchs and they are giving it to the people. And that is why the US does not want their story to get out. And in Bolivia and in Ecuador, they are doing the same thing. They are implementing a revolutionary process which the US at all costs does not want to see spread to other Latin American countries but to the global south as a whole. So Socialist Alliance is proud to stand with this struggle of truth tellers. We are proud to defend Ed Snowden and Julian Assange. And we say courage is contagious. We are all Bradley Manning. We are all Julian Assange. Yeah.